Good morning, back out. My name is CornPop16, and welcome to episode 44 with highlights taken from Cass on Team Fortress TV. This episode, we're going to be covering the week of September 17th to the 24th. We'll be covering both ESEA and ETF2L highlights this week, but unfortunately, due to technical difficulties, the Oz Fortress finals will have to be covered in next week's episode. In North America, Bird Noises took on EVL Gaming, and the soon to be sponsored Meat Market fought This Game Used to Be Fun. Over in Europe, we had Crown's Esport Club vs. Top 5 Rocket, Thanks Nursey vs. 3 out of 6, and Champ GG vs. Danger Dogs. Tip of the Hats was last weekend, and if you missed our highlight video of the event, you can check it out right here. Following that, the ETF2L Season 25 Premiership teams were finalized this week after the preseason playoffs. Both Bird Noises and LEGO made a roster change, a North American LAN was announced by Esports Arena's event manager, and Champ GG and Circuit Esports both sponsored TF2 rosters. It's a lot to digest, so let's take it as we always do, one thing at a time, starting with Tip of the Hats. TF2's largest annual event showed that the game and its community are not ready to give up the ghost just yet. Raising $184,587 over the course of its three-day show, this puts the total raised by Tip of the Hats for One Step Camp at over half a million dollars. It really is a blessing to be able to contribute to such a generous and compassionate community. Stevie Wonder's AIM School were not able to navigate their way through the preseason playoffs and consequently missed out on playing ETF2L Premier in Season 25. The final teams list is as follows, Crown Sea Sport Club, LEGO, Top 5 Rocket, Comfortably Spanked, Thanks Nursey, 3 out of 6, Danger Dogs, and Animate. We'll get to see the teams in action a bit later, but for now we'll look at Van's departure from Bird Noises. The Flock's team captain Van has flown the coop. He's left TF2 to pursue better work opportunities. In his stead, the team has picked up Eric on Scout. This roster change now leaves the team with three former members of Lukagoras, so he should fit right in with the rest of the birds. Next up, Crown's Esports played Top 5 Rocket in their season opener. Medico is behind currently, but is only a one man against the world jobber. Right, Medico is the last man standing. Now, whether or not he'll be able to get anything done is yet to be seen. They do realize he is behind them. They're not done. Right. He needs to go for the respawn. This is no way he's going to get to. Uh... Raymond, unless he gets the help of his teammates. He's so, peeking. Yeah, it looks he's like he's looking. going for a play on two, but they know about him. They know Medico's oh, behind, yeah. so it is going to be difficult to get this kill. But uh, look at all Leaping these players. In. Look at all these eyes he's drawn. There's no the way. He's, he's drawn what? so many players. He's bought a lot what? of team for his, a lot of what? time for his team, I what should say. What is he, Tom Hanks? Catch me if you can. What good God? What the hell? How does okay, he get away that should with be that? happening. Ever. What on earth? A skillful movement by the man. He knew where to place himself at the That's end of the day. That's amazing. is ready and waiting around that corner. Might be a bit of a sticky angle to make, work their way into. Medico's going to be falling there. Farsh with the headshot onto him. Waiting silently. And he picks up another one onto Nam. Time with the second. Oh my god. Two headshots in a row. This man's on fire. Um, and with that, the push is stumped. A sudden change from Flash. It's almost like a switch has been pulled. Perfectly happy to sit in this situation though, aren't they? They've got uh, oh seven God, minutes left. Destroyed. Oh my God! <laughs> oh wow. Okay. All right. Take them to Pound Town. <gasps> Bissell! What is that? Oh my God! Miracle shot. Finds Raymond. That's going to mean no Uber charge right now. But on Badlands, the game was tight, with the score remaining at one-one for a long time before Crowns muscled out two more rounds for a score of three to one. The world champs looked much stronger on Snakewater, however, where they took a 4-0 lead over top 5. With 4 minutes left on the game clock, Crowns conceded a couple rounds, but still managed to come out with the win. Prem invitees LEGO have made a new pickup with an old face in Demol. The Frenchman will play Romer in place of Zen, who has been moved to backup. Demol has played with the team previously in both seasons 22 and 23. Back to the highlights, our next game is Bird Noises vs EVL Gaming. Is in on Nursey, hits a nice rocket and kills her. Gets three kills in the house area, and he's still alive. There's only two players left on Bird Noises. They do go down, and everyone on EVL lives. Okay. Now Garbuglio hanging out, and Wanko's gonna actually predict where Garbuglio is. Not take him down just yet, but Garbuglio's very oh. hurt. He hits two and three nice rockets onto so many Bird Noises players. That might be the reason they win this mid here. Wanko doing some trick jumps in behind. He is spotted out, and here comes Bird Noises. Oh my gosh, it's the 
uh, the epic ulti duo. Ulti, ulti duo, yeah. yeah. And high five is poking at course. Of course, is reloaded there. There's AD ADing back. This and is forth. why this is one of the worst battles. <laughs> yeah, this is why you don't see this in ulti duo. It's usually soldier and medic, not scout and medic, because this the happens. The first scout to arrive is Yops coming in from behind. Distracts course a double knee shot there. Takes down course and forces the Brad and Nursey. Great play there by Yops. Yeah, and Zilli is surely going to be able to push here with both of his scouts with that uber advantage as well. And Nursey is completely out of it. Slow town in a position to try to make the pop happen, but he is spotted out immediately. Eric trades the frag and is all over <gasps> Zilli. Hits two nice meat shots and Zilli pops that uber off. Oh my you, god, Eric. You cannot let that happen. I mean, Eric should... There's no way in a million years that Eric should have gotten that force. Zilli played the right move, Arbu getting in there for free. He just jumped all the way from Choke into Lobby and takes down Nursi with two easy rockets, and that could be the game. Are maybe going to be able to get it. They finally get the eccentric on, but they lose two players, maybe three. They lost their demo and medic. Yeah, but honestly, he committed really hard for that sentry gun, and he didn't see the trap behind him. Just goes down to that trap. The combo is cleaned up for EVL right now. High five and Eric battling out underneath. Side guy getting involved there to get the frag. Rando falls soon after, and EVL down three players. Eric surviving with just one health. Yams. Yams in the classic Badlands spot, just hiding. He's looking to go main, actually, into last. And Wanko, There's no like way. you said, Wanko's... is ready yeah, for it. Yams is a yeah. god. Oh. This might what be over the... here. Slow Town and Eric trying to come back, and it is over. Yams winning every single 1v1 this entire game, I swear. It's just unreal. Bird Noises took the first two rounds on Badlands off of strong mids against EVL Gaming. However, EVL soon figured out Bird Noises' strategy and were able to take control of the map, scoring five rounds in a row to win the game. Now let's take a look at Thanks Nursey versus 3 out of 6. They have Ubered in now, seeing if we can find some players. But they just everyone's just giving them the ring around the rosies. They can't seem to pin anybody down over on this 3 6 squad. As a scout does kind of flank around, that's AMS. He's seeing if he can just stab them from behind. He does wow, two, wow, two wow, kills, three, three kills, kills over on the AMS. Amazing. He wants the Demoman kill as well. Four kills for AMS, wow. and that will win the round. Behind, so he might just go for a back cap here. And so far, he has, he's unspotted. Going towards last, and there's a Nation. scout with him as well. Nation's position, so he should be able to see him, but he's not looking in that general direction. He's going to get cut. Yep, he didn't see oh, it coming at all. It's the lock height. and load. Oh, but there's three players just in the nick of time to uh, all contribute to that last uh, defense. But you've got all these other players on 3 6 trying to flood in, but they're all trying to flood into the one door beat, and they just can't get their mitts inside. Amos <laughs> almost uh, gets punished again. There we go. He survives. And uh, Deox, who's still left over from this last point, is nobody paying attention to him. Oh, goes for a hero play onto Nation there, but misses, pays the price. Oh, and that's gets the second taken point. Down by AMS, though. AMS is running behind. AMS gets again. the pip squeeze uh, kill as well. What? It's a man. What? He's a man on a mission. Peter, he's still going. He wants more. He needs more. He's going. He's got walking. Get the his soldiers one. Get the demo. He's going oh. for demo. Oh, demo. Dream crusher. Back cap for them to deal with now. Deox, uh, he is completely full health, but here comes the soldiers jumping in. Uh, actually, oh, gets oh. a Nurse's European team fared much better than her North American one, winning a 4 0 on Badlands, followed by a 5 0 on Snakewater. Over in North America, Meat Market took on this game, used to be fun. With this soldier here. Yeah, he's right there. Unfortunately, that wasn't synced up all that well. Also, but Bro King's in, he's pushing. on the Cookie Jake, and he drops Cookie Jake! Cookie Jake milking away, trusting his team to take care of Bro King, but Bro King had enough ammo loaded and dropped Cookie Jake. And here comes Slemnish with that Uber. They take down the sentry gun with like way too many sickies. Pelt is uh, spamming off the top left side. They're cleaning up frags. They're choosing to get frags before putting any pressure on the point. And it looks like this is going to turn out just fine for Meat Mark. As I said, that they lose their demo and Slemnish. They're still in on last. Skis gets a kill onto Phelps. They kill Cookie Jake once again. Sam and Trip go down to Bro King. Yeah, Marmaduke's bo uh, bomb allowed his team to get forward spawns, but that's just about it. Slumnish getting more frags, 
charging forward with that Uber. They're not really seeing anybody. Slunish hopping his way up onto Cookie Jake and taking him out. Slunish is so slippery and hitting every single shot. Bro King is going spy, but I mean, that's the kind of thing that you gotta play the uh, Harlem Globetrotters theme music to. Yeah, and Mangle's actually very far out. Oh my god, Bro King's in behind. He doesn't have, have an opportunity to get Cookie Jake, but he's opting to go to last point. The rest of his team is trying to defend it as he does successfully get this back cap, and that is GG Meat Market manhandling Mangled. Meat Market continued our theme of blanking the opponents with a 5 0 stomp of this game, used to be fun. Slum just put up a monstrous 411 damage per minute on Badlands as his team showed that they are definitely to be considered a top invite team. After the first two weeks of matches, only Freyotech and Meat Market remain undefeated. EVL Gaming sits at a strong 3-1, but every other team in the division has a losing record. This is in part due to the fact that both Malicious Activity and This Game Used To Be Fun haven't played their fourth match, but the standings will not change by much. Bird Noises sits in sixth, followed by Strolling Astronomers with the bugs at the bottom of the heap. We've got one final highlight this week, Champ GG vs Danger Dogs. Wait, Champ GG, you protest? What happened to Comfortably Spanked? But it's too late, we've gotta roll the highlights now. For them, it's all on their hold here. But I think with 8 minutes remaining, I really don't want to see Champ GG play this too quickly. I want to see him take their time. That's not what's going to happen. War on Snipe is just going to pick off damn easy, because it's 2016 and Pockets go Sniper now. What? Yeah, that was a, that was a good shot. Uh, War, he's kind of trapped here. There's a sticky trap behind oh. him. Never mind. That's it. Got diffused by uh, by way of bullet. He's now done. he's just peeking forward. Oh, he's, he sees the medic. Oh, oh. that takes still away there. Uh, Turbo barely getting away. He did not want to be. The demo here. Gets a nice rocket onto the medic as well. So a ton of damage coming out here. But Scrab is onto the medic. Up Turbo gets him. Uh, there we go. And this has been a very close mid. Maris is very weak. Adiski is uh, quite healthy. But Ooh. Nice Smear little pipe from nice Smear there. The quick flick, it's all on a disky. 1v2, this man believes in himself. He, <laughs> he he's got the stick, he's going in! Oh no way, does he get serotonin? Oh, one pipe! Come on. Oh my god! Uninstalled. So Uninstalled. <laughs> oh, serotonin. This is actually a soldier behind line trying to cut off serotonin's escape. There's a second soldier jumping in onto him, but he will get taken down, or at least slowed down enough that the Sergeant can't get out, but uh, Smear might just get caught, but uh, so far, really good pipe. Look at that! Whoa! 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 What scrap. a turnaround! Whoa! Whoa! Calm down. Calm down. What was that? Just comes out, kills a disky damn easy and turbo. What was that? Three kills, six shots? That's sick. The pendulum of momentum swung back and forth on Snakewater. Champ GG scored the first two rounds, then Danger Dog posted two of their own. The final two rounds went the way of Champ GG, giving them the map. ChampGG started off hot on Badlands as the teams took strong mids, which led to a 3-0 lead after the first 15 minutes. Dogs slowly dug themselves back into the games, even out the score at 3-all. The Dogs were able to fetch a final round off a strong play from Scrab for a win of their own. Let's see how ETF2L is shaken out. Crowns, the renamed Nursian friends, and LEGO are all tied for first at 2-0. Danger Dogs and ChampGG are tied at 1-1, which leaves Animate, 3-6, and Top 5 Rocket all winless after the first week of games. A North American land? For TF2? At the Esports Arena? Yeah, you heard me right. Esports Arena's event manager, Wade Radomski, tweeted that the event would be held at their venue on January 21st and 22nd. The community exploded with excitement and anticipation, but with only a venue and date confirmed so far, many were still skeptical. Community member Sammy Face was able to shed some light on the situation as she was instrumental in establishing connections with the venue. Keep in mind that an official announcement is on the way, so we can only relay what she has been able to tell us. Two TF2 tournaments are planned, an invite level tournament and an open tournament. There will be a low entry fee per person on each team, however spectator passes are free and seating will be available. The venue will provide computers for all competitors and peripherals can be rented if you don't want to worry about bringing your gear with you. Most importantly, yes, they are providing 144Hz monitors so you can stop worrying about all that input lag. We'll keep you updated on the story as more develops. Now back to your earlier question about Comfortably Spanked. ChampGG, the organization behind PugChamp and MixChamp, have sponsored the Peach Bottom Gamers for their upcoming season after their NA team, ChampGG.8K, disbanded. The EU team will play under the tag ChampGG.K. Europe was not the only region to gain a sponsorship this week, as Meat Market roster signed to Circuit Esports on Friday. Not to be confused with the North American Scout player, Circa Esports is a North American organization that has sponsored a bunch of FGC players and a Smite team, so they're certainly not new to the esports scene. Meat Market has put up strong results so far, establishing themselves as a top invite team. With events like the Esports Arena LAN, perhaps we'll see an influx of sponsors to the scene, but only time will tell. 
The weeks pass on, and here we are at the end of another episode of Backcap. You've got plenty of time to prepare for the North American land, so go coax your friends out of retirement, put a team together. Thank you so much for your continued support of the show. See you again next week.